Virtual production is growing like crazy, but most people don't understand it enough to take the leap. Today, we're gonna to talk about two great options for first project and most important components to really sell it. Hey, it's Sean with Remedy and Form Studios. I get so many phone calls and they all start out the same way. I saw Mandalorian, I want to use Unreal Engine, but really after talking about the project, probably half of them don't even need Unreal Engine and you can just use something like video plates or photo plates. So this makes me realize a lot of people don't understand their options for virtual production. So let's talk about the pros of Unreal Engine, the pros of video and photo plates, and how practical elements and lighting really sells the effect. Pro plates, plate pros. What are the pros of the plates? You know what people aren't talking about? Plates. No, video plates. Plate, plate, plates. It's a great cost-effective option that looks great for virtual production. Since Unreal Engine is a bit newer, there's not a huge library of high-quality content out there, which means you're gonna spend more time trying to find that content, or you have to pay somebody to make those assets for you, which kind of drives the cost up. With video and photo plates, there's many websites out there with a lot of high-quality content, or you can go and capture your own plates or build something out in something like After Effects or Photoshop. Another benefit of using video and photo plates is the speed of your production. Because you've already made all your background choices. On the shoot day, all you have to do is worry about blending the physical environment and the lighting with your background. The other aspect that we consider video and photo plates is more abstract motion graphics kind of footage. You know the flashing lights for like a sports hype video or just creating any kind of abstract footage that isn't real life that fits your production. I'm sure at some point you've had a hard time finding a location that matches your vision. But with Unreal Engine, you can create exactly what you want. With Unreal Engine, you have full control of your environment. We're actually in an Unreal environment right now. In this scene, we can move every chair, table, tree, car. We can move the sun around. We can add lights, take away lights. Unreal Engine is so powerful. You can literally change anything. Another benefit is virtual location scouting. We can either do that in our studio or virtually online. It allows us to fly through environments, set our locations, and that way on the shoot day, we we'll click a button and we instantly load into that location. In Unreal Engine, you have full camera tracking, which ensures that your virtual camera and your physical camera are always aligned, so the height of your camera and the distance to subject is always accurate. You input the camera's sensor size and focal length, which ensures that your compression is always accurate to the lens. Listen, listen, listen. None of this matters if you don't care for blending the virtual environment with the physical environment. What I mean, lighting, and physical set deck. The last thing that really helps sell this look is matching your virtual lighting with your physical lighting. Let's check out some examples. This was one of our first projects that we ever shot in here, uh, but honestly, it's one of my favorites. We brought in some real Christmas trees and combined that with the virtual Christmas trees in the background. Right here, you can see behind the scenes shot. I basically, we had five trees the entire day, and depending on what angle we shot at, we would just kind of shift all those trees around, and it seemed like a completely different part of the forest. Uh, what really helped sell this one was the atmosphere. We added some uh, haze, and it just helped kind of like soften the transition between the physical set and the virtual set. Then also added that snow, because there's also snowing in our virtual set. That's what really helped tie this one together. So this next one was a more in-depth uh, physical build-out. We actually brought in full ground cover with leaves. We added some plants right on the edge of the wall that helped blend with some of the virtual plants right there. Also with this one, we are able to transition to our next scene really quick because the whole entire ground cover was all on tarps. So we roll the tarps up, pull them outside, and we're on, on to the next shoot. And all in all, it just really blended really well. So check out the space scene. It looks incredible, but it's probably one of the more simple shots we've had in our studio. Uh, here you can see the final scene. Uh, it was slowed down a bit. And honestly, you'd have no idea how simple this set was, and it just sold so well. And this is really the power of virtual production, how quickly you can do a setup and how minimal a setup has to be to really have a great effect. Uh, you see the astronaut kind of float up to the window, uh, which appears to be like a space station, but really all it is, it's a playground bubble where the astronaut's kind of just like walking up and floating to it. And I mean, it just sold so good. Uh, this shot right here, honestly, is, it's pretty badass. It's, uh, so she's actually an astronaut. She's been to space, Dr. Proctor. Uh, it was really cool to have her in the studio because she was just like wowing over, over the wall. So it's cool to see somebody who's been to space. I think virtual production is like the coolest thing ever. This is a great example of using an abstract motion graphic. We just found this on Envato. So it's really affordable to find, but also just the, the way that it's made, it seems like there's a lot of depth to it, but really it's just a video playing on our LED wall. But because our wall is curved, we'd shoot a side profile shot that looked like a completely different stock plate. 
What's nice too with this shot is as a light is kind of coming, you know, up towards her, we're able to cue on some of her physical lights. So it looked like that light is kind of like wrapping around her body, which also helps sell the effect like she's in the environment. So this is a great example of how good something so simple can look. They really didn't have many physical elements, but they really focused and dialed in the lighting. That's what makes it look so amazing. For this wider scene, they did, they brought in like one little like fake plant put up on a pedestal, just we had something as a foreground object to pass by. Um, we had some little like Aperture MCU pucks make a little fire effect for his face. And again, it's, it's very simple, practical elements. And then the lighting that really had just helped sell the scene. So for this shot, they had a very clear vision of what they wanted everything to look like. They created their background and their foreground stuff in After Effects. We shot the background in camera and they were able to track in all the foreground elements in post. So with this, they went out and shot some driving plates around town. We brought that in on our LED wall. And what really makes the LED wall great for driving scenes is all this natural reflection that you get in the glass that makes it seem really realistic. So for this project, we used Unreal Engine and video plates. We used Unreal Engine to create this cool moody garage scene. And then we shot video plates in five different cities, brought that footage back here to the studio, and we could shoot this whole entire project in one shoot day. Because this project was in, in Unreal Engine, we were able to move every single element in the scene. We, uh, there were some drums we, we moved around, there's some graffiti on the walls. We were able to change the brightness um, on the tools in the background off those virtual lights. But then also we were able to make our physical lights kind of match the virtual lights in the scene. So one thing that helps with these plates is we normally have a stand-in when we shoot the plate. And that way when we bring that plate into the virtual environment, we have our physical actor kind of line up with the um, stand-in that we did with the plate. And that really ensures that all the scaling is correct. Also on this, we can tell the lighting. You know, on this one, in the video plate, the lighting's coming from the left side from outside these windows. So then on the physical set, we then brought the lighting in from the left side as well. So that way our lighting on our physical set and our virtual set were blended and that just really helped sell the effect. This is another project where we used Unreal Engine and also used uh, video plates. The opening sequence is in this kind of like retro garage. And then all these other shots, right, are actually just photo plates. Um, you know, when you have these tighter shots with quick movement, um, really with these scenes, there's very minimal uh, physical objects in the scene. Um, it's mainly just the photo plates in the background, but really the lighting is what really just makes this scene just really seem realistic. There are a lot of ways to be successful in virtual production. It really comes down to your project needs. If you have a smaller budget or you want to dip your toes in virtual production, then using plates is a great option. If you have a little bit bigger budget and you want full control, then Unreal Engine is great for that. Ultimately, it's about blending the lighting and your physical set with the virtual environment is gonna make your project look amazing. If there's something that you wanna learn more about, let us know in the comments below so we can help you on your journey. See you next time. Okay, just take it. Just take it.